take questions for Coach. Doug, we'll start with you. Uh, players alluded to this. I saw your quote from yesterday. You indicated you were a little bit worried about the effect of the draft on your team. It seemed as if that was the problem. Yeah, I, I, I think at this time of year, all 16 coaches um, who are still playing have that in the back of their mind. You know, I mean, you just you wouldn't be human if you're 20 or 21 years old. You're not sitting there. I mean, we're taking BP yesterday inside, you know, because it's raining and. I, I know that you're, everybody's like, you heard anything yet? You heard anything yet? You know, like that kind of stuff. I mean, you just wouldn't be human if it didn't affect you. So I just think it's a huge relief off of is my, you know, the, the only day that, it, I mean, it, it matters a lot is that day. Um, but, you know, you never forget it, but it's it's something really good to put in the rearview mirror, too. I, I just felt like Adam... Adam is a really cool customer. He's somebody who's extremely mature, but I think I think we were asking a lot of him, you know, especially yesterday. Uh, with, you know, when you just you didn't hear your name and then name after name after name comes up. So uh, I, I I think he just played so. I think I said this on television. Uh, he just played like a guy who's totally relaxed today. Just don't touch the coach. Take one. Uh, John, just those, those three double plays that Ross didn't have his best stuff, but uh, he just kind of stuck with them there. Yeah, he, he had a couple of, you know, close misses, and, and then I, I think he lost his composure a little bit, which is not like him. You know, normally if he has a miss and he, he thinks it's a strike or, or whatever, you know, he normally jumps right back in the zone. But I felt like he just lost his composure a little bit. He, he had a lot of small misses, not a ton of big misses, but – you know, we're in a position where we got to just ram it in the strike zone. And, uh, and you know, he didn't do that as well as, as he normally does. You think that might have been related to the fact that he got up so early and warm so long, he almost threw an entire stint before he got in the game. There's no question about that. Um, you know, I, I th their leadoff guy, who incidentally is one of the best hitters I've seen this year, I mean, the, the guy, uh, uh, is it Pappy or Pappy? Pappy. 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 That guy. We'll all know his name here soon because he, that guy might hit in the big leagues. He, um, when we got to the top of their order, that's when we felt like Ross was going to, you know, come in for that third time through the order deal. But when we stretched the lead a little bit, we were trying to get a little bit greedy in terms of how long we could keep Kendall in the ball game. So we kept Kendall one more time through. Um, so you're right. He kept getting up and then having to get down and then up and then down because uh, – you know, we just didn't we, we didn't anticipate the fact that we we're going to stretch the lead like we did. Doug, were you aware that their starter had mishandled the hard play last week? There, there was a little bit of that on our scouting report that, uh, you know, from all the, you know, the scouting reports that we got, there's a little bit of making field of position on there. And there, there's some guys on our pitching staff. And I'm sure the scouting report says make that guy field his position. Um, but, you know, I... Those are the kind of things that sometimes that happen to younger players, and there's no question that guy is going to be a really good pitcher in, in one of the best leagues in America. And, you know, you just you feel fortunate that, uh, you know, that, that went our way. Did you know they, they threw five freshmen at you? Today? Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, obviously I knew that the, the first guy, Waddell, was – All uh, five were freshmen. Yeah, I did not know that. But that really bodes well for their club. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, John, it felt like early on that Kendall wasn't going to last very long. He got the two cases in the first inning and kind of settled down from there on. Yeah, I, I think I think both of them were sliders, and I think that kind of springboarded them to, to the next inning. But, uh, yeah, we, we did not want to have to bring a loss at that point in time, even though we did get him going there in the, in the second inning. Matthew, got one John, is there a different mentality that you tell your guys to go up to against a freshman pitcher? I mean, I know you do it for righties and lefties. Do you do it for younger guys in this type of a scenario? You know, that's part of the discussion. It's part of the scouting report. But, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a big factor. I mean, uh, there are times where a freshman can be, you know, as good as a senior. So, um, but I, I thought they're, you know, I, I thought the one L kid did not lose his composure. And I thought he kept attacking the strike zone. And I thought he... You know, after that first inning, I thought he pitched pretty, pretty well immediately after that. Yeah. The, uh, he used the bunt game again, usual, not just for sacrifices for hit. Was DeMarcus still in the box when he made that? That was almost a softball type bunt. Yeah, De DeMarcus, uh, I think he ran a 3 5 5 first base, which is you know, special. Um, 
because you know Armstrong had one where he ran a three six zero, but it was money right back to the pitcher and he made that play. But yeah, I mean that's that's part of our identity. We use that word a lot in our program. We don't want to step outside of our identity. We want to do what we do, and uh, certainly those those guys are, are guys who can use a short game. Uh, John, I guess Adam had six hits. Uh, Hunter had four. What's your reaction when you're kind of watching this, this hit after hit from those two guys? Yeah, I, you know what? i got to be honest with you. Hits are great, but getting a first base is just as good. You know, it's not as much fun for the player. But, I mean, I, I, the great at-bat scenario is, is just as important because you're not going to get hits every time. But you can't have a, you know, great at-bats 65 or 70 percent of the time, which, which is good. That's, that's why Virginia is a great offensive club. They, they have great at-bats, at-bat after at-bat. It's, it's pretty amazing. So, uh, you know. I thought we had some good fortune. I they thought they hit a ton of ball, uh, balls really hard that could have been hit. So, you know, Purtle makes two great plays in the ninth. But, but and this is off the subject, I'm so proud of Purtle. Here's a guy who kicks a double play ball and is going to keep runs off the board, and he comes back and makes two big league plays in the ninth. I, I think that shows a, a ton of maturity on, on his part. Doug, what did you think at the, at the end of the first inning? You got two out of now you're trailing 3-2, but your guy strikes out their seventh and eighth hit. Their first six guys reach base. You want to know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking <laughs> these guys can really hit. Um, just but did you feel like, the, like that was you may reduce the damage, limited the damage a little bit? I, yeah, I, I thought the two strikeouts were big because they don't strike out. I mean, I, I don't know the numbers on the ACC or even in the country, but I think they came in with 313 strikeouts, something like that. That's I mean, that's, that's not striking out a lot at this level. Uh, so you knew they were going to put balls in play. So, yeah, I, I do think those those two strikeouts kind of, you know, again, springboarded uh, Kendall a little bit toward toward that next game. Because you talked about the Virginia offense, but you also had two pitchers who kept that offense at bay when you really needed to. Can, can you just talk a little bit about what, what you were asking them to do and kind of what you expected in those – Really, really key situations of runners on base. Well, I did this. Um, the first two hitters that came up, Pappy and uh, King, you know, they smoked <coughs> two balls before we even had a chance to show an off-speed pitch. So, you know, you have to bury the idea or show. You have to add and subtract with velocity of your breaking ball. And we didn't add or subtract. You know, Kendall, you know, said he didn't have his best stuff, but he's still a 92, 93. At least it, it's accurate on the, the wall there. Um, that's pretty good stuff, and I think that's that that's the kind of stuff that uh, you know hitters like like Virginia should really get to good fastballs. So our our plan all along, sink it, move it, get beneath. Yeah, you know, I wish Kendall would have thrown a ton more 86, 87 with sink. You know, instead of 92s and, and 90s that, that are really fine and hard barrels. And I, I thought as it went on, I thought after that first inning, he was able to add and subtract, and I thought that helped him. Uh, John, does, uh, are you going to go through and just kind of look back at this game to figure out who you want to start tomorrow, or do you already have that made up? Well, you know, Butch and I have not even talked about that. You know, we, you know, we always start with the bullpen, and of course, having John, fresh Jonathan Holder is going to help. We really wanted Gerardo to have that extra day since he pitched, you know, through so many pitches on Monday. I thought that was big. You know, with the amount of outstanding left-handed hitters Virginia has, uh, the ability to put him on the sideline just one more day. And it's a longer day, too, but we don't play until tomorrow evening. I, I think that was really important. But, you know, to your, to your uh, thoughts about uh, starting guy, we're going to have to wait until we get a chance to talk about that a little bit. Adam, do you have one? Do you have one? Okay, we'll take one here. John, similar to what I asked the players, uh, can you talk about how vital Adam is to your team and kind of what the rest of the SEC coaches are missing? Um. You know, I, I made a comment that I was disappointed that, that he was not an all-SEC player, and that's nothing against the kids who made it. I just, you know, he, when you get a chance to watch this kid perform for three years, he's, I, I think he's special, you know. And I, you know, I, I remember, you know, I, you were, Kendall made the comment that individual honors aren't, aren't uh, what we're all about, and they're not. And he's such a selfless kid, you know, and, Probably didn't matter to him, but I, I just, you know, I, I thought he was deserving. But, you know, those kind of things happen. Yeah, I've seen in our league, just like the ACC, I've seen kids who didn't make all SEC make all American, you know, with one of the 10 all American teams that are chosen. So uh, hopefully, you know, that might happen for them. Take one of the back. Oh. Got, uh, 
20 hits, 11 runs, and now you're one man away from the College World Series. What do you tell the players about tomorrow? Well, it's just grind. There, there is no World Series. There's no ninth inning. There's just the first pitch that's going to be thrown. And we better go to the bottom of the zone with movement, or they're going to hit the daylights out of it. And, and we better have great at bats, give ourselves a chance to score. You just, you can't think like that. Now, our kids will go back and, you know, they'll tweet and, you know, communicate and all that stuff, and that's, that's fine. But when we get in the trenches tomorrow, it's just every inning, it's every pitch. If you, if you look beyond that, you're crazy because you're playing one of the great teams in, in college baseball. John, you, you, did you see your players adjusting to maybe the way this park plays? It looks like the ball carries and a pretty firm surface as well. Yeah, I, I think it plays quick in the outfield, and I think um, it does carry a little bit better than, than our place for sure. And, uh, you know, again, Virginia has some hitters who can make the ball carry pretty darn, darn well too. So, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm not seeing it play as small as our players do because um, I still think it plays – Pretty big ballpark, but uh, yeah, I, I think they enjoy the surroundings. It, it is a beautiful ballpark, and you know that, that big hitter's eye is something we don't have, as Hunter mentioned. You know, we don't have the big hitter's eye, and uh, our hitters make me aware of that almost every day. But uh, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think uh, you know when you haven't seen something, like you haven't played in Virginia, that's always a thrill for players to go experience something they haven't experienced.